Clay, what changed with this team in that fourth quarter that really sh shifted things and gave you all the momentum to, to hold on to that? Um, what we've been good at all year, just making adjustments on the fly at halftime, um, really whatever we can do, um, just to make adjustments on the fly. We've been really good at that. Our coaches do a great job, and we're good at retaining information and be able to talk to them about that to change up the plays we need to make. Oh yeah, that was, those are huge plays. Um, just being able to be in the right spot and make plays for your teammates and uh, for your team it feels really good. Like, what's it like to be a part of the defense that got really better each and every time? Just, like, was able to make big plays? Oh, yeah, it's, it feels really good just to be able to be a part of this defense. This is one of a kind defense, and how we continue to get better, like you said, it's, it feels really good to be able to do that and be with these guys and just bond really close together and to play for each other. What's the challenge with stopping this quarterback? Uh, we knew he was a mobile quarterback, very uh, shitty guy. Um, we just really contain him in the pocket. Um, if we're rushing the passer, not to get up, pass, uh, rush past him, and uh, counter back, and uh, just make plays, keep him in the pocket. Coach has talked about you know you want to make November one to remember you get yeah, just winning the game every week is the goal. Um, finishing strong feels even better because that's something that gives momentum going into the next year and gives that even more motivation to keep working hard in the off season because you remember how good it feels and you want to keep on doing that. Yeah, coach, kind of mentioned it. Maybe that opening loss is the one that's all. Obviously, it felt bad at the time, but. Did you, how much did you guys just grow from that experience and then as the year goes on and kind of maybe point to that as a turning point or just something that you, that you grew from? Um, I don't really think that game in particular um, necessarily look back. I mean, look back on every loss and try to build from that or every win in that, in that matter. Um, but that was definitely, I mean, that hurt. Losing any game hurts, but uh, just building from each win and each loss. How important is it to get these two games, you know, after the um, yeah, I mean, it's great. It's great to be able to go out and do that. Um, just winning games. That's that's why we're here. That's what we do. Where do you want to go for bowl game? Uh, <laughs> I would love to go to the Bahamas because I've never been to Atlantis before. But uh, just for family members and getting fans, I think the New Orleans or the Tampa Bowl would be a pretty good one to go to. Thanks, bud. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. I had to. I had to learn. <laughs> I had to learn. I had to take some notes. You know? I can't do it the wrong way. Can you give the play by play with that? Can you give the play by play with what happened? Uh, <laughs> nah, I mean I miss. I, I seen the, I seen him propose, but I didn't really catch the build up. He had a video going and everything. He had a pretty dope setup, so I mean, shots to him. It was, it was well planned. Yeah, so it was, it was well planned. Yeah, so. Lucky, just this game in particular that was so hard to fight through. Just what did this offense find late to get going? And just you know, coach had mentioned it coming down to the last five minutes. So just what did you guys find in yourselves? Well, we just kind of hung in there and uh, played for the guys to the left and right of us. We played for the seniors. Uh, and, I mean, I just feel like we had a lot of things to fight for, things that we're still looking forward to. So I feel like that was a big boost and motivation for us to go out and finish this game off the right way. What was it about this game that just took a little bit to, to really get going with that offense and try to punch it in a lot of drives and we just get down there and install? Uh, just, I mean, it, it took uh, just everybody just contributing, doing your job. Uh, Coach said it was going to be a four-quarter game. I mean, records don't matter in a game like this. Uh, we knew that we were going to get a, uh, their best punch just because, I mean, they're, they're playing to kind of ruin, ruin what we got going on. So, I mean, was, we had that in the back of our minds. So, I mean, that, that went into it as well. Like Ty said, you and Quinn have never scored a touchdown in the same game. And he also said you guys are pretty good friends. So, being senior day, how much did it mean? No, it was a big deal, and uh, I feel like uh, what made it such a big deal is just because me and Quinn had this talk last night, and we're roommates in the hotel when we go and travel and away or at home games. So it was just kind of one of those things. I just kind of looked at him. We were just hanging out in the room. I'm just like, man, we got we to gotta touch that paint together. I was like, man, we've been here five years together, and that's something that we ain't got to do yet. So I was like, I mean, let's make it happen. I mean, it's great that that, uh, that was able to happen for us.
what has it been that has allowed Quinn to become the bigger target the last couple of weeks? I mean, it just felt like the ball just wasn't going to play for the that first half, and now lately it feels like that stride has happened for him. Uh, I feel like it's confidence, kind of believing in itself. Uh, I mean, we all know he can do it, but I mean, when when you kind of like reassure yourself that you can do it and you are that guy, I mean, I feel like that, that was a big thing for him, just kind of starting to believe back in himself and, and knowing the things that he's capable of. After your touchdown catcher, it felt like nobody was really even close. Uh, yeah, it kind of. I mean, it's a play that we've wrapped multiple times, and uh, we got the look that we wanted. And uh, coach always says, "Don't get collision." So I mean, that was the main thing that I was focusing on uh, going through going through that play. So once I knew I got out free, I knew it was gonna be a pretty big play, and I just kind of let my legs do the rest. Like you kind of talked about, you know, coming from the team last year, only had three wins. To, I know you still got a whole game left, but a team that could potentially have nine wins this season. Like, what would you say is the biggest difference between last year's team? And uh, Buy-in. I feel like uh, everybody on this roster, uh, including the staff, I feel like everybody's on the same page. We have that the same vision, that common goal at the end. So I feel like that's a big thing when everybody's headed in the right direction. Just um, where do you want to go for uh, anywhere where the sun is, uh, so uh, I, I'm not really picky. Uh, I'm just glad that we got got that extra game. So uh, anywhere where it's heat, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind.